Hi guys, we are making very popular Netflix series uh, Wednesday Adams thing. And so it's basically because it's uh, just the hand, we start making fingers. And so fingers, you need to make magic loop, magic circle, and make seven single crochets. It will be five fingers. First make seven single crochet and then you make a few rounds seven single crochets, one stitch, one single crochet in each stitch. It is small amount of stitches, so it can be quite fiddly. My tip is first you crochet like inwards, have a look like I do. It curls inwards, it is easier, but then don't forget to turn it inside out. Like this, using the back of your hook or something else. And then you keep going. One single crochet in each stitch. These tiny fingers can be a little bit challenging, but you can do it nicely and slowly, take your time. Of course you can start with 8 or 9 single crochets, but the pattern will be slightly different. I don't use stitch mark, I'm just counting 7, 7, 7, 7 for every round, but you can use a stitch marker. And so you will need to make 5 fingers. I will show you how to finish the round, the last final round, to make it nice. You see you've got step, and then you insert your hook into the stitch afterwards and imitate imitate the stitch next to it right like that so you've got front side of the stitch and then for the back side of the stitch you insert your hook again into the last stitch and put, pull the yarn through this will help you to identify the stitches to see the stitches easier if you've got the nice edge of it. Like this you clearly can see seven stitches and then you hide the tail. So you will make two fingers with um, one finger with nine rows, it will be your middle finger, the longest one. Then you will make two fingers with eight rows, it will be your index finger and your middle finger. And then you will make two smallest fingers with seven rows. Don't cut the yarn of the smallest finger, make it last, because we will connect those fingers. This is thumb, you also make seven rows, seven rounds, yeah? Two fingers, eight rows, eight rounds. Index finger and ring finger.
and the longest will be middle finger nine rows nine rounds and then you connect starting with the little small finger first you make three single crochets Don't forget to insert your stitch marker. You will need to see the beginning of the rows. Then ring finger, attaching. Anywhere you can see your stitches, you have seven stitches. So, first you make three stitches, three single crochets on a ring finger, Then middle finger, again it will be three single crochets. And index finger. Index finger you are going around with seven single crochets. There you need to count your stitches. If it was seven stitches on each finger at the end of the round you should have 28 stitches 28 single crochets looks great and then four stitches were left on each finger so you go around making four single crochet on each finger left You can see where the stitch was already made. So you go into the next stitch and count for single crochets.
and now you've got all your fingers connected four of your fingers connected make five rounds five rows of 28 single crochet it will be one single crochet in each stitch You can pause the camera and complete these five rounds. And then next round we will attach thumb. Somewhere on the other side. I've counted for me it will be 13 single crochets. Then thumb. Attaching thumb, it's uh, exactly the same how we were attaching all other fingers. You just crochet all around it and then finish the round. So you touch your thumb exactly the same way. You're going around making seven single crochets around thumb and then the remaining stitch is 15 single crochets. Next round we will start making decreases. First decrease will be on your thumb in the middle of the thumb area and then decrease will be at the end of the round right before the stitch marker be careful with this round it is your first time you are making decrease I will show you how to make invisible decrease invisible decrease when you pick only front loop of stitches so it uh, will look less noticeable on the thin but it is very easy to uh, miss some stitches straight after decrease or add a new stitches honestly I was redoing this uh, round a few times myself so you pick two front loops and make a single crochet like you would do normal single crochets don't miss this stitch there you are and make 16 single crochet all the way to the stitch marker leave two, st two single crochets and uh, make one more decrease if you've done your stitches right you should have 33 stitches at the end of this round If you've got 32, 31, don't worry about it. You can redo this round, of course, uh, undo it and do it once again, or you just can keep going. One, two stitches, I don't think it will affect the pattern. And so you've got two stitches left, pick front loops of both stitches and make single crochet. This is your invisible decrease. Right 
around 16 it will be more decreases I'm making 6 single crochets and then decrease all the way around those stars on the pattern you can see on your screen it means that you make 6 single crochet decrease as many times as you can this is repeat pattern in my way it is four times and then you've got one single crochet left I didn't put it on a pattern because some people may have one some people may have none some people will have two single crochets left it's all right and this is decrease again and again six single crochets and decrease So if you've got different amount of stitches, estimate that uh, it will be four decreases all around. Make them somewhere equal distance and it will be great. Then you pause your camera and complete the row. And uh, I will show you round 17 you make five single crochets and decrease all the way around A little bit later we will insert the wireframe. I will show you how to make this wireframe. We don't insert it straight away because it will be quite hard to crochet all around the wire. You will see what I mean at the end of the video. The way you've got, you just bend it around those fingers. This is how I do it. Maybe you will find different way to do it. You can tell me in the comments how would you do it differently. If you can mark your thing on Instagram or other social media that this is hobby crochet pattern, I, it would be highly appreciated. And uh, I would love to see your creations as well. That could be great. And this is the free pattern. If you would like written pattern of thin, it will be for the small price on my Etsy shop. And once you've done your skeleton, I didn't connect the end piece because I will uh, adjust maybe the high of it. Before inserting, I'm twisting those few times just to make it uh, sturdier. You know, it will keep shape better. And this is one millimeter wire I bought on eBay, just a very simple basic supply. It is, you can bend it with your hands, you don't need tools, it is very bendable, but uh, on the other hand it is quite strong. That's what I wanted.
insert your wire all the way to the tip of your fingers we will adjust it a few times um, during um, our process don't worry if it's um, not right but you can see now the fingers are bendable and it looks just what we want I will insert stuff in as well a little bit later some people will prefer to complete it without stuffing but I think a little bit stuffing will make it like a real thin You can connect those pieces together right now or do it a little bit later. Let's see how it will go. You can bend those fingers here to make lots of fun. It is fun. It is fun. Just play it, enjoy it and have fun. This pattern may be not only for thin from Wednesday. This could be for anything. Right, and this is how it looks. Uh, then we will need to make more decreases that it looks uh, correct shape that's basically it's all about to make the correct shape and so next round round 18 will be 4 single crochets and decrease all the way around And this is what I meant when I said it is quite fiddly to crochet around the wire. The wire is on your way. You can bend it uh, the other way and keep going. It will be just a few more rounds and you will be finished. So don't worry, you've almost done it. decrease and then repeat four single crochets and decrease this is little tip I want to show you if you don't know if you struggle to see the next stitch right so this is what I'm doing once you distract it or something when you are doing decrease have a look you can clearly see the the stitch you taken and then you block next stitch with your nail or with your thumb right and then you remember this one that is next stitch this is what I start doing uh, recently in my Amiguruimi thing in that way you know exactly where is your next stitch is decrease block next stitch just put your nail on it and there you are much easier isn't it so this is my little tip complete this row pause the camera because I will stop it I'm trying to reduce the time of this video slightly. It is quite long video and you can get bored. There you are. 
around 19, 20, 21, 22 and 23. I'm just going round with 21 single crochet. It is one single crochet in each stitch or how many stitches you've got left so far. It shouldn't be very far away from this number. Again, if you've got 20 stitches, so 22, 23, don't worry. You can make another decrease to make it for 21. But if you've got very similar number, just keep going, I would say. You just see if you like this uh, shape, you just keep going. If you don't like, you will have to undo it and do it again try to count your stitches better. This is about time we connect the ends. You can use the pliers if your Y is uh, slightly thicker and you struggle. I will do it just with fingers. Uh, the aim is that uh, you want to you want to put away, you want to hide those sharp ends. You can use masking tape or uh, plaster to cover those ends, but I will insert stuffing, I will insert uh, it on both sides of the wire and it will cover my loose ends and sharp ends. I will insert stuffing a little bit later. So far so good. So I've done 5 rows of 21 single crochets and now you make decrease. You've got two options. First option, you go just as you usually would do, decrease and single crochet pattern. Second option is a little bit more challenging but it will look better. So you go with decrease single crochet, decrease single crochet all the way around. And next I will show you how to do a little bit challenging way, but it will look miles better. So decrease, you go stitch after. You crochet back loop only, so decrease in a back loop only will look like this. You need two back loop stitches, two back loop sides of both stitches. And it's easier way to start with the stitch after. First you skip that and then you're going back. So you're going backwards. This is decrease in a back loop only. And then one single crochet back loop only. Then again decrease. you kind of going backwards. And repeat the pattern. Going around with back loop, loop only will give you a very nice edge of this um, hand. And it is a little bit more challenging, so it's up to you. You go either back loop only or you go as you, you would usually do. Try it both ways and you will see how it goes. Just like that. Then it's time to insert the stuffing because the opening is getting smaller. Check that the Y is all the way to the ends. Maybe push it slightly. When insert the stuffing, try to insert it from one side of the wire and then from the other side of the wire. That both sides of the wire, that the wire is inside uh, the stuffing, in the middle of the stuffing.
You can try to insert the stuffing in each of the fingers if you can. Maybe not so much because you've got wire there and um, uh, it is quite hard to push it through, but it's up to you. You've got this hole, we will fix it later. And so you just keep going with decrease and single crochet pattern all the way around. And if you don't remember what what is your pattern, so you do one stitch, undo one stitch and uh, you know that it is should be single crochet because you can see that it was single crochet. Then decrease. When you can't do it, make this stitch slightly larger. Have a look here, I'm struggling. But then if you un undo that stitch, I will show you on the next decrease. So you make this stitch slightly larger and then you make decrease. If you struggle. And there I struggle. So you go with the stitch, pick up that loop, make it wider, and then you can easily get into it. Right. I didn't use stitch marker because I'm going back loop and you can see the beginning of this row. Again make this stitch slightly larger and then it's easier way to pick it like that. There you are. And next row will be just decrease, 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 but now you can do decrease in the front loops. So you are picking now two front loops. This is just usual invisible decrease in a migurumi. Usually you make those decreases all the way to the end, but I can see that the opening is quite small, so I don't want it to have like a cone shape, so I've done two decreases and then I will finish it, and I will show you how to finish that opening. You can use the needle or you can use just your hook. I will be using the hook. You insert you go in further, yeah, like uh, completing this round, insert your hook in the middle of the next stitch and pull the end through. Insert the hook in the next stitch, right into the middle, and pull the end through. So you are like braiding those front, uh, front, uh, front side, front loop. And then I will quickly show you how to make the scars, if you don't know. It is a little bit of embroidery lesson. If you like this video guys, you can always uh, go to Hobby Crochet icon and click video and I've got lots and lots of cute amigurumis, amigurumis toys and uh, other stuff. I'm sure you will find something interesting on my page. 
and subscribe and comment and like and share and uh, usual stuff. And there you are. Then you pull the sand and you finish this opening. It goes nicely. You see it's like a round, uh, circle shape. Very nice shape. If you've got the needle with large eye, you can uh, use the needle to hide the sand. If you don't, you, you will use your hook again. I had this needle, huge needle somewhere. They can be metal needles or plastic needles. I forgot how to call those needles, so... And there you are. If you want to um, make this hole slightly smaller, you have a couple stitches through. But it looks good. And then to finish the hole between thumb and um, your hand, you just take the same end and have a cup, make a couple stitches over there to cover it up if you want. Just to go with your end uh, here, there couple times and it will be great. Good, then you make a little knot, hide the end and we will make a couple scars on this hand. I will show you how I make this car. All fingers are fully bendable. This is what we wanted. To make scar, I'm using black thread. It is just uh, maybe two PLY or four PLY DK yarn or something. Anything you've got. Those stitches could be uneven, so you just do whatever you can, whatever you want. It's no, it's no wrong or no right. It's just show your creativity. First I'm making one large stitch like the base of the scar and then I apply small stitches here and there. And it will be it for today guys. I'm very happy that you want to watch my videos, my tutorials. Thank you for that. And hope to see you next time. If you want me to make something else, you can always put down in the comments. And I will see what I can do.